good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and on today's action figure finds and unboxings, we've got an order from House 14. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. <laughs> Welcome back. Like I said, I've got my order in from House 14. And if you're unaware, he does custom head scans. He does our head sculpts, I think. I can't remember who said it, but um, maybe it was even him. I, someone I saw a comment on Instagram made a point to say that um, these, in, well, I guess, independent like head gimmicks, House 14, um, guys that are making the head sculpts are sculpting the heads. They're not scanning anyone. So it's a pet peeve of theirs. So head sculpts is the term that we are going to go with. But today's order is from House 14. And he has a thing called a stash box where you can just, um, you know, pay for your stuff. You don't have to pay for it because he's international. So like if I bought two heads and had them shipped, it's like $17 to have those two heads shipped where I can just... Um, instead, I can keep waiting, I can stash things away, and then like once the box is full, then we can have it shipped. So I have been stashing for a while. I'm excited that this is, this is finally here, and I can't wait to get into it. All right, so first things we're going to go through are some misprinted heads that I um, ordered. He sells these super cheap, and um, well, because there's typically an error. Sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're um, very small misprints but i got a bunch of these just because they're real cheap and um got some head scans out of it that are pretty different like i'm not going to grab them anywhere else and maybe guys that i wouldn't even necessarily pay the like full price for that i really really care about having in my collection but some cool stuff nonetheless so um starting here we've got a brian cage with a mohawk this head scan is really really nice the misprint here is like up in the teeth. The teeth are a little messed up, but nothing we can't fix with a little bit of paint. The mohawk looks really nice on this. This head scans way better than the Jazzwares one. And Jazzwares paint applications are just so weird that sometimes it can't even tell if it's a bad scan or... Oh no, I just dropped one. Well, that head's lost forever. I just dropped a... Uh, Matt Jackson head and it may or may not find its way back to me. Here's a, the same Matt Jackson head. It's a very nice scan, but you can see the back is messed up. So it's like missing the bottom of his head. I'm going to try and just like sculpt it and then we can put a ponytail on here. All right, lucky day. I found the Matt Jackson. Ponytail still intact, but you can see same issue here. The back of the head just didn't print on all the way, so um, it's flat there. I'm going to just sand it a little bit, I think, and then try to sculpt on um, that hair, and I think that this is salvageable. And it's like, that's a younger uh, Matt Jackson. He did a few different uh, versions of him. Here's one. We've got a Jay Briscoe. This was his more updated look. And this one, I think the issue is just that a bunch of the dreads are broken. But um, you can see they're like flat at the end since they're broken off. But I'm going to just like sand it a little bit. And we're going we're gonna to call it good because dreads are dreads. They don't always have to look pretty. But got that Jay Briscoe nice and cheap. I am going to get um, like, like well done Briscoe heads before too long here but we're also supposed to be getting them from uh jazzwares which i don't know how long it'll take with their bolt collection here are some updated young bucks heads i don't know what the problem is with the nick jackson you see he's got his like blonde goatee he's got his sideburns i don't know maybe it's this line right here but we've got the updated nick the updated matte and you see there's a little crack there but you can just fill that in with some sculpting clay and just like smooth it over so not a huge deal you can see the beard detail in there 
Next up, admittedly, I don't know a ton about this guy. Jun Kasai. Kasai. I don't know exactly. The uh, Deathmatch Wrestler. This will be a fun one to paint. Like it, the, This is kind of one where like it'll be cool to have in the collection, but not one I necessarily would have paid up to have. We've got a uh, Scotty Goldman or a... Why can't Colt Cabana? Man, I could not think of his real name for a second there. I've already made a Colt Cabana. This head is a little bit bigger than the other one that I had. So I might paint it up. I don't know. We we'll find something to do with it. And then the last of the misprints, which this one is rad, um, is Tiger Mask. So the issue here is that he is missing an ear. Um, that'll another one. That's probably going to be pretty easy to sculpt on. But you can see the detail in here is incredible. There's the missing ear. There's so much detail. Like, they've got the mask. They've got the mouth detail in there. Just looks fantastic. What the hell is that? There, we had some stuff on him. But then we just have the normal one. So he did have a sale where he was selling a bunch of stuff for five bucks. And then there was a couple that I actually pledged to buy. So um, first off here is Crowbar from WCW. So I'm going to be making him. Admittedly, don't know what, or remember a lot about Crowbar, but I remember him from the Attitude Era. So another WCW guy to add to the collection. Oh, I forgot this one here. He's got an Owen Hart head. But it's it's got a bunch of cracks in it, and I don't I don't necessarily need that Owen. Um, the misprints are random, so you never know exactly what you're gonna get. Um, but I don't know, maybe we'll find something. So here we go from the sale. So these heads are good. There's nothing wrong with these. We've got I got two Lance Storms. I want to make um, I want to make an ECW Lance Storm in his black and greenish attire. So that's for that one. And then this one is going to be from his WWE time where he just wore the red tights, the red kick pads, um, like during Ruthless Aggression era. So I wanted to grab these Lance Storm heads because I had used the Jack's Tri Titan Tron Live on those and they're really small. They're not the worst head scans. It's just these ones are awesome. I really like these. Next up, we have... Lance Storm's ECW partner, we have Just Incredible. This scan is fantastic. I've talked before how I wanted to update my Just Incredible Elite because it was just okay. But um, picked him up. Next here, this one I'm real excited for. We've got Juice Robinson. Rock hard Juice Robinson. A fantastic looking scan. I've already got his body um, like ready to go. Um, you can see the beard there looks nice. Like you got, you can see the teeth sculpted. The hair looks good. This was one I pledged for right away when I saw it up on his website. I knew I had to grab Juice Robinson. Next up, we have the Godwins. So I had, I have Godwin customs that I bought. Here is a. Uh, uh, What's the Phineas? Phineas, right? Phineas Godwin. And these ones have sculpted heads. The, the scans I have are are just like normal hair, no hats or anything. And they're oh, they're 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 good. I think that they're good scans. I think they're by Tom Veg. Um, I'm not positive, but these I think are way they're more detailed. So you can see like they've got the texture in the hat they've got the beard texture the hair are just fantastic scans and he was selling a bunch of stuff for five dollars five pounds a scan which is like six bucks so here we've got henry o godwin same idea got his hat on and i'll probably just dremel everything out so that it's swappable and then this last one i'm super excited we've got midian so um, I'm going to be able to paint him up, get him done, and then I will have finished my Ministry of Darkness collection. I might end up making a Naked Midian as well, but we will just have to see, so...
that is going to wrap everything up for today. Um, I'm always excited when I get new head scans. I always have all those customs to plan out. So we've got, um, what, one, two, three, four, five, like, I mean, we've got like 10 things to add to the list. So that's always exciting. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, go check out some more action figure finds and unboxings. Um, hopefully we've got some more lots coming in here before too long. Other than that, please continue to like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy more action figures. Figure Dude out.